Update my girlfriend has been sleeping with my roommate. Good for you for making the changes necessary to get yourself out of that situation and to remove the not good people from your life. This must be so hard, but you're being stronger than you feel you are. Clearly do not listen to trolls trying to upset you. They won't listen to their own advice if they were in your situation. So FCK them. Keep taking good care of yourself as you go through this pain. FYI. Size does not matter and I, personally, prefer smaller sizes. You can grind the corn and make a woman orgasm during intercourse. You'll be a god. Google it. I know you're probably feeling a lot of sorrow and anger, but don't let it destroy you. Eventually you'll look back on it and feel grateful that it happened. I went through a situation similar to that and cold would be better today. Just face your problems head on and move past them. Consider yourself liberated from somebody who doesn't deserve you. Stay strong. Anyone who judged you for this sucks. I know it is hard to step out into something new. Change is scary. But you're already in a better situation. By being out of the one you were in. I read your first post. I'm sorry you're going through this. Try therapy if you can. Get into the gym. Just to take your mind off things. Pick up different hobbies you will meet new friends. It takes time, but it gets better. I'm very happy for you that you took the proper actions. It's tough now, but the payoff will come when you find true happiness. What was the response from your ex GF and friend? No good relationship ends. So you are definitely in a better place now. Good luck with the healing. Go to the gym and do some fun after work slash school activities to pass time and meet new people. All of a sudden a year has gone by. You got a six pack. You barely remember your EXS name and there's a new one sleeping next to you. You'll be fine. Heartbreak and drama is a part of life and every time it hits you'll be stronger and wiser. Sorry you had to go through this also your former friends are shit and I'm glad you cut contact. You may feel alone now but that's alright it gives you time to think and to heal. For now just focus on yourself and your goals in life. Don't let this experience break you let it strengthen you. I'm sorry that happened to you, but you did the right thing. I'm happy for you man. You're handling it as best you can. You don't need those other friends you can find even better people who will appreciate you and genuinely care for you. Your ex is a hoe and your ex roommate is a hoe as well. You're not losing anything but moving on and the friends that took their side will probably end up going through the same thing. When that time comes just point. Laugh and say I told you so. Sorry friend. But I'm glad you moved on and ended things with your shit ex and friend. Do you mind sharing how you confronted them? You shouldn't be insecure about yourself. It's the girl that should be insecure about herself knowing he needs more than a man to satisfy her. She just feeding her ego to stop her insecurity about thinking she's not loved enough. You may not realize this now, but that was incredibly courageous of you. For now, focus on yourself, things that you find fulfillment in, skills slash hobbies that you can spend time on etc. Just like you found a solution for the apartment situation, you will definitely find aspects that improve your self-worth and consequently your appeal to others as well. Don't obsess over the past or those that betrayed you. Definitely not the internet trolls that bring you down. They are not worthy of your time. You made the healthy choice. Which shows you've got a head on your shoulders. I'm rooting for you man. Hang in there. Time heals all wounds. You might feel like you've lost something. But these people were not bringing anything to your life in fact they were only draining you. You just didn't know it. I hope you try to build new relationships and can trust people after this. But this is 100% for the better. And I for one. And I'm glad you did what you did. Just close the chapter and let them go. I wish the best for you op. If they cheat with you, they'll cheat on you. So rest assured they will end up betraying each other as well. People like that always get caught up in their own BS. In the future, try to branch out more socially. I think you'll find you're not too awkward to make a lot of friends. That insecurity will melt away as you meet more people that enjoy your personality. Don't tie yourself to one friend too much. I'm sure your dick is big enough and you're an attentive lover. So don't beat yourself up over that nonsense. A lot of guys have unrealistic views on sex because of porn. 
there aren't a bunch of tendics walking around. And guys don't naturally stay hard for 30 plus minimums. At least not while exerting themselves. Get out of your own head and relax. Use your mouth and hands if your buddy needs a break. It happens to the best of us. Some fake friend puts a knife in your back. As for the relationship, in some instances you could actually be great in the sack. Good looking. Charming. ETC but at some point their partner would still cheat BC they wanted to see if the grass was greener or they just love more than one sexual partner. Well the point in trying to make is don't let shitty people tear you down. It'll take some time but it'll pass. What happened between you and the GF and roommate? Did you confront them? And if so what happened after? Man. I'm so sorry about this. It really is a heartbreaking ducking situation. It is not your fault that people do shitty things. It is not your fault that you were born with what you've got. Love yourself and know that none of the people involved here are worth your time. Our friends are a reflection of how we see ourselves. Who we think we are worth being friends with. You've got to put yourself up higher so you can get some friends that see the beauty that is you and have parents who taught them to respect those they call friend. Continue to explore sexually. There are ways to ensure pleasure for your partner and yourself. Please love yourself. Your ex and your old friend will see karma come around to them. It always always does. Day by day. That's all you can do. Take care of yourself and get some rest. Glad you got out of that situation. Please tell me you confronted your friend and your girlfriend. You did the right thing. Those former friends are trash. You don't need people like that in your life. Focus on you. You need to learn to love yourself. Once you start seeing the good things about yourself, you will realize how much better off you are. You can have a great life. Go see that therapist and keep moving away from this. One day, you will look back and be thankful you got away from this toxicity. That was very kind of your landlord. I'm sorry you are going through this. Things will get better. Think of this as trimming the fat. I can assure you that anything they will have will come full force one day. They will answer to for it in another relationship or even with each other. And tbh this speaks to their character. You will find someone else and other friends. Just focus on feeling your emotions in a healthy way. And maybe work out. Moving your body clears your mind. Don't allow those people in your life again at all. It's better to be alone and actually alone than it is to be alone. Because you're surrounded by people who hurt you. You are on the right track. Taking some time to yourself and making arrangements for a therapist. I also recommend that you block your exes, GF and friends. So that you don't have to see their garbage on SM. Your therapist can give you pointers on striking up new friendships. But only when you're ready. If you have a hobby or interest, now is the time to dive into it. Physical exercises can help with your mental exercises. 2. You don't have to go all out at a gym. Especially if you can't afford a gym membership. Not saying you can't. Just covering my bases. But taking a walk. Jogging. Or something else that doesn't cost money can help you process. When I lost someone important to me. I made sure to get some workouts in here and there. So I wouldn't drown in grief. And trust me. I'm not in shape. At all. But it helped. Also, learn to love yourself before you attempt to love anyone else. Don't dwell on your shortcomings, real or perceived, but focus on your strengths and figure out how to turn your weaknesses into strengths. And look, I don't care what kind of person you are, only shit people treat you like shit. You did not deserve that level of betrayal and then to have the friends turn on you like that. They are all trash. And now that you have pulled yourself out of that dumpster you will finally see it. Meanwhile, let them all rot together. It won't happen tomorrow, and probably not even a year from now. But someday, they will definitely reap what they sow. And you'll thank God, that you got out of there. Edit it for grandma. You did the best thing for you, and that was getting out of that situation. You cut out toxic people, and not everyone can say they did that, and for that I'm proud of you. No one deserves to get cheated on especially by a roommate. You do you. Work hard to become the best you can possibly be. F those people they're toxic. There's 7 billion people in the world you will find friend. And about your penis. There are way to increase it. I would post it, but Reddit won't allow it. This isn't an ad. 
they're really exercise for that. I always hope that someone in your situation and sharing such story on Reddit manages to get revenge in some ways. It pisses me off to think that thrashers get away with being thrash. I still hope you will get out of this bad place. For what it's worth I'm glad you are out of there. I'm sorry that happened to you. And what kind of losers are those ex-friends to think? Hey, it is totally okay for someone's girlfriend to cheat with his damned roommate. Apostrophe. Seriously threads like this one make some of my former frenemies practically seem like saints compared to you all. Mine just stole money from me or put me down. Up. Focus on yourself. You're healing. You will find new friends. It's hard now. But it will get better. And good luck to the exes when they find out all they've gained with each other is a cheater. Who is gonna cheat on them? Because oh yeah, that day is coming. It's a really rotten type of individual who cheats on their so with someone close to the so. And you don't need someone like that in your life. Now is the time to look at what adventures are out there for you unencumbered by backstabbing liars in your life. You will be okay once the pain subsides and you realize how damaged all of these people truly are. No one worth keeping pulls that kind of shit on the people closest to them. Keep your chin up brother. Also I would shame them on social media. Especially your ex-GF and roommate. Let the world know what type of trash they are. Like the guy who called me a pussy for being upset or the woman who messaged me to say that if I cold and satisfy my girlfriend I should let better men do so because she deserved it. Of the people that said that to you, it will end up happening to them. But those people were never your friends. You are truly better off without them. My now former friends took my old room at side and I've cut them out of my life. This makes me think you didn't tell us the full story. In no way would they side with him for ducking your girl, if that's all this was. Glad you got yourself out of there and that you dropped the dead weight. Bummed out you fed the trolls so hard in the beginning of the post. Trolls only want a reaction. You gave them a victory parade even called out the exact details so that exact troll will know they were the winner that got to you. Good luck moving forward. Hope you get all your ducks in a row then kick life's ass. Please click subscribe if you enjoyed this video.